what's going on guys welcome back to a brand new video on the channel inside of today's video we've got an excited day because balance change has just dropped about 10 minutes ago there's a ton to go into so we'll be testing all of those out in today's video and of course make sure you're subscribed if you're not already because i'll give you guys all the meta details especially if things change and especially with ranked as well changing so what we're going to do quickly before we go into testing the brutal zen you can go straight into the game tab you see the patch notes right here you can take a look at all the balance changes which we've already gone through in a previous video so i won't bore you guys with all of those I guess the big ones are probably going to be the ones that I want to test, the ones like Cole, maybe Poco. I want to definitely try Larry and Laurie, see if they're actually nerfed. But the big changes I want to quickly go through is these ranked changes. So I'll be testing this out on live stream later today. So again, make sure to check that one out around 6 p.m. my time. But a lot of ELO changes. So I'm, I'm happy about this because there was some big annoyances with ELO and basically ELO is how many points you gain for a win, for a loss, and there was just there was so much going wrong with it. So I was gonna make a ranty video about it, so I'm, I'm happy they've changed it. So we're gonna test that out later today. Anyways, let's jump into the balance change. All right, guys, jumping into the first game then. So we've had one game to try out Larry and Laurie. So literally what everyone's thinking, surely this is the balance change that everyone is gonna be talking about because Larry and Laurie still with all their nerfs in the past. I don't even know how many nerfs they've got right now. I think way over 10, surely. And another four coming, well, literally, which are live in the game right now. So the big one, which I'm interested to see whether it's going to impact them or not, is their unload speed. So this made a big impact on brothers like Grom in the past when he was broken. So I'm thinking with Larry and Laurie, surely that's going to be the same. But it still feels like, to me, it's still easy to connect some shots onto them. But like, it still feels really fast. I'm going to be concerned. If they receive four nerfs and they're still, like, a strong brawler, a tier brawler... I'll be very concerned because surely that would mean they're definitely the most broken brawler in the history of Brawl Stars. Anyways, so Larry's received one nerf with the unload speed. Laurie, the, the robot, has received two nerfs. The nerf to his shotgun damage. So now he won't, whenever he gets in range, he won't just literally delete people. And also they nerfed his super recharge rate. They nerfed this by 50%. So a big nerf. That means you're not going to be able to cycle through supers a lot quicker. Also, of course, with the update, there's always some server issues. So hopefully we can just get over these in a second. And then also with the gadget, the healing has gone from 33% to 25% of the maximum HP. So a little bit of a nerf there. But I'm hoping this just plays out. If we can just get back to my normal game, please. Hello? Rule stars? Okay. Okay, we're back. But what on earth just happened there? I don't know what just happened, but we'll go with it. <laughs> so... I don't know. I still feel like they're going to be a good brawler. Like, I know it is a bit of a sketch game to test them out in. But I think it's been pretty decent so far. We've got the gadget here. Again, I don't know what's really happening right now. This is so sketch. But we managed to get the kill onto Stu. I think Laurie's going to be able to get the kill onto Colt as well. Right, we're back from the server lag. So, yeah. Larry Laurie in overtime is not going to be the best. But somehow we made it to overtime here. I don't know what. I don't know if it's my connection or the Brawl Stars servers. But... Larry and Laurie to me still feel really good. So I'm kind of concerned at this point. Four nerfs and there's still going to be a pretty strong brawler. So that's going to be Larry and Laurie. I think it's not going to impact them too much. Let's hop into the next one. So jumping into the final nerf we're going to be taking a look at and then move on to the boss after this is with Leon. So you might have missed it because it's not actually in the patch notes. So basically his dr damage drop off. So people didn't even know that Leon's damage drops off by the way. It's going to be a really hard comfort to face off against. But basically at maximum range at minimum you deal 40 percent of your maximum damage it just made it so at least it was able to deal da damage at maximum range but now that's been nerfed to 30 percent so i think at maximum range like 294 damage it used to be like 380 something so i think definitely on game modes where you, he's the best in like bounty knockout it's going to impact him a lot more than you think that's in my opinion but i still feel like it's going to be a pretty strong brawler like his hypercharge is the thing that's kind of broken. And that wasn't touched whatsoever. Also, his supercharge rate is the thing that's pretty broken. That wasn't really touched whatsoever. His, his uh, hypercharge rate was nerfed, though. Like, in the in the other balance changes over a month ago. And people didn't really realize that. It actually took me some time to realize that. Because it feels like they're not really telling us about the Leon nerfs. Have you noticed the past two times? That they're kind of gatekeeping it. It's like, they know Leon's a sneaky brawler. They don't want to tell us about these nerfs but yeah he's received a couple of the past few balance changes i still think leon's gonna be like an st brawler it's not gonna impact him a ton it just means he won't be able to literally like snipe his counters like piper um nanny mandy you know before he could just run all over them 
Now he's probably going to be a bit more sneakier, trying to get into the short disc or well, the short range as much as possible. So again, pop our invis right here. Don't think BB will have. Okay, she's got the knockback. I was going to say, she doesn't have the damage to take us down, but then I completely forgot she got a knockback mechanic. Kind of crazy. Uh, sometimes I wonder how I was ever a pro player in this game. All right, we've got another hype charge here. Of course, we're facing off against tanks, so that is why I'm able to cycle through them quite quickly. I'm not too sure why Primo didn't pop his hype charge there. But look, look at his hype charge. It just melts through people. That's the big problem with him. Again, I'm not. There's just no chance that I'm going to be able to make a big impact on this game because Leon's always suffered against Poco Double Tanks. So take with that as you will. But I still foresee him being a really solid option, you know? All right. Jackie, get down, please. This is pretty much over unless we can get the ball up to Primo. Go, 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 go. Primo, go. Love to see it. And also, on my second channel, I don't know if I plugged it enough, but I literally run all of these balance changes in ranked to get the best idea whether it's going to make an impact, you know, who's going to be meta. Maybe there's some other brawler as well who didn't receive balance changes who might become meta after this. You know, wild things happen after balance changes, so make sure to keep up to date with that. I'm kind of butchering this one, please. No. Oh, I completely choked that. I completely choked that. But that's, it's all good. Can't always play well. Anyways, Leon, I think he's still going to be a solid brawler. Let's hop into the next one. Guys, okay, so now we're going to be moving on to the buff. Starting off with Bonnie, the one I definitely want to try out first. So if you didn't know about Bonnie, she received a damage buff by 12%, I believe. She deals a lot of damage now. But not only that, with the supercharged gear... She now takes three hits to get super instead of four, which is a big deal. It means she can start jumping in, getting in kills a lot more frequently. Of course, since the nerf, she got a projectile speed nerf a couple of updates ago, and it's pretty much killed her because it just means at maximum range or just any snipers can just stay out of Bonnie's. Like, you can just open your eyes and dodge Bonnie, essentially. So she was just terrible, like a D-tier brawler in the meta ever since that nerf. And now they've buffed her quite a lot. So they only slightly increased the supercharge. But obviously that means now that the supercharge gear actually works. I, I don't know why it took them so long to figure out that gear was the most useless thing in Brawl Stars. Now I'm just waiting for them to figure it out in Jackie. But yeah, as I was saying, it's definitely going to help her out. I think it's going to make her more meta in game modes where she was previously strong anyway. So I don't think Brawl is going to be uh, like go-to. I think it's going to be like Heist. It's going to be like Hot Zone. It's going to be scenarios like Knockout, Bounty. She's pretty decent in overall. Just means, again, I can just jump onto Squishy Brawlers a lot easier. Go a lot more aggro. And it's just going to be a lot more fun. So I feel like the go-to build with Bonnie will be the extra gadget charge gear. Because, again, she's still pretty terrible in cannon form. It's still going to be hard to get a super. So having four gadgets, getting the extra movement speed is going to be essential to cycling through supers. And then, of course, the supercharge gear. Getting your super and free hits. It's just massive. Of course, we're getting pretty weak here, so gotta run back. I'm hoping Ego pops his hype charge super soon, please. We need we need to get out here. Right, there we go. Kill Larry. Ego's going ham as well. Go on, Ego. You know you wanna. Exactly. Go on. Get that goal for us. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. But again, I don't expect Bonnie to really be like an S tier brawl. I mean, maybe I'm underrating her. Maybe she could just leapfrog all the way up to the meta because three hits to get super is a big change. We've seen similar changes like this to brawlers like Lou, for example, where they made it so that he needs one less shot to get super and it completely changed him. It made him one of the best brawlers in the game. Maybe if she got a hype charge in the next set of next set of changes, then she would be pretty broken. I think for now, I think A tier is where I'm probably going to place her. B or A tier. So that's going to be Bonnie. Let's jump into one more. Guys, jumping into the final, final balance change I wanted to talk about. It is with Byron. So he received an 11% buff to his healing and his damage. So I'm excited for this because now, oh my, you can really feel that. Like I nearly two shot that spike. That's insane. So yeah, he's going to be a lot more of a threat in terms of being a support ruler, being a damage dealer. I already on my mini account. Oh, this buster is dodging. Dodging my heels. What is this? There we go. Beautiful. But yeah, as I was saying, I was playing a lot of Byron on my mini account because I was doing off meta to masters. And I was already thinking, like, Byron, he is pretty underrated. Like, I, I guess against hyper charge brawlers, he's just going to get countered still too easily. But I think in the right scenario, you know, like knockout, bounty, I was still playing really good Byron. Like, it's so uh, easy when you're good Byron to absolutely carry. So that's probably what I'm thinking. Okay. As I said, that's get clipped by Colt. So I think it's I think it's actually gonna be a viable option. I don't know what it is. This one feels good. Any type of damage buff 
in these metas just make brawlers really strong. We've seen with Amber, we've seen it with Bo, we've seen it with like Griff, Otis recently. A lot of brawlers are getting damage buffs, which again, I'm not, I, I'm just unsure about. Like, I don't know why everyone just needs a damage buff all of a sudden. But at the same time, it's making the meta a lot more balanced. So I'm happy for that, I guess. But okay, we should be able to walk this one in. I mean, I'm playing with double tank here. So that's literally Byron's cup of tea. He perfectly synergizes with any sort of tank. So again, I think it's going to be a lot more meta. You know, you pair him with any type of aggression. He's going to be really strong. Use him on a sniper map when... I I'd say probably when, like... Piper and Nani are banned, he's going to be really strong. But then again, like, Bonnie's became meta, so that actually might make Byron weaker. We, we don't know how the meta's really going to settle, but we're going to try our hardest to really dive into it on today's stream, so make sure to check that out, that one out. But that's going to be today's video. First look at the meta. I'm excited to try out all the balance changes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next.